Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Murphy is climbing on me. What are you doing? Oh, Murph, that's not very nice. People on YouTube don't want to see that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy homemaking, right make videos on homemaking, cleaning, and lifestyle. So, oh, I've had a bit of a stressful week, I must admit. It's all felt a little bit just everything at once type of thing so i've been feeling a little bit burnt out i must admit so i just wanted to film something a bit more cozy relaxing i just want to have a super peaceful and relaxing evening and i thought i would bring you lot along with me so i know recently i have done a lot of cleaning videos and i do love making those videos i really do and they're so convenient to just film my normal cleaning and upload Murphy needs to go to the toilet, I will be back. <laughs> Come on then, Mr. Demanded. You want to go outside? Let's open that. Oh, I can't even see what I'm doing because I'm looking at the camera. There you go. See ya. Yeah, so as I was saying, I just, I feel like I've been doing a lot of cleaning videos recently and I really do love doing that as well. But I don't know if you remember but at the very start of this channel as well, I did do, I was interested in like a lot of slow living and I feel like I do still incorporate that because my cleaning videos, I go for a much more peaceful, calming, slower vibe than like the crazy like motivational pop music videos there are on cleaning. But I also want to start doing a couple more homemaking-y slow living vlogs so I upload twice a week so I'm thinking maybe I'll do one a week on cleaning one a week on my slow living homemaking just so I can have a bit of a balance of both and yeah I've also been putting a lot of pressure on myself because I feel really motivated to actually do well on YouTube and I know that's such a contradiction from what I've said previously and that I didn't want to get it into a numbers game and I wanted to keep it chilled and laid back and I didn't want to become fake and just doing things to get views and that, that still stands but at the same time I think when you realise that you could make a part-time wage or you could make a decent he started barking now this little puppy I wonder what he's barking at, I wonder if there's a cat. Anyway, <laughs> when you do start realising that you could make money doing what you love obviously it's a very like nice concept like obviously I would love to be able to do that so I think I've been motivated just to put the work in and I want to stay true to myself I'm gonna have to let this dog this puppy in <sighs> I don't like calling him a dog he's a pup come on do your biscuits do your dinner right bye then <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back again. I feel like this is not the most relaxing, peaceful start to this vlog, just because my puppy has been running me ragged. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like with YouTube at the moment, obviously I have been pulled into what could be. And then I put pressure on myself to like do things that will do well. And I know it's like, I don't know, to people who don't do YouTube, I think, 
conversations like this are just like really how do you get a grip <laughs> so anyway I'm going around around the roundabout around around the roundabout not just around the roundabout I'm going around it twice <laughs> multiple times to get to the point but I feel like I'm at the point now which is basically I need to go easy on myself don't put so much pressure on it what will be will be my life's plan will work out one way or another and yeah let's just have a nice cozy evening together so I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker and then I'm going to have a candle lit shower which my friend Kay from living the life you love has recommended on her channel multiple times and I've only recently just started listening and doing it and it's actually amazing so I'm gonna wait until it's actually dark and then that's what we're gonna go and do so I just wanted to quickly show you my blanket slash hoodie. <laughs> I got this from Amazon. I think it's called like a snuddle, a sno snoody, snuggle slash hoodie. <laughs> but it's so nice. So I just throw it on when I get in from work and it's amazing. So I'm feeling all cozy. I'm going to do a quick clean of the house now before then taking my makeup off and then we're going to get in the shower. dinner tonight so we're gonna have 
marinated salmon and roast veg and some just oven chips so i've just sorted that out and done a bit of a clean and now i'm gonna take off my makeup <laughs> pin my hair back i'm gonna take off my makeup before i get in the shower because i hate getting a bath or a shower with makeup on i just don't feel like it's acceptable <laughs> half of my makeup has gone anyway from the course of today but i'm just going to show you quickly what i use to take off my makeup so i use this pons um cold cream makeup remover i heard about it when i watched some like 1950s housewife videos i love those videos um but i heard about it and i ordered it just because they said it's still around now and i love anything vintagey and retro and it's such good value for your money so it literally for me it's the best thing i've ever found to take my makeup off it's the same as like cleansing balms and things that you buy um from like really expensive places and it just melts your makeup off and you get so much in the pot as well so i highly recommend that so i just use this and then i will take it off with a hot cloth and then I also use like a foaming cleanser as well. So I'll show you what I use once I've done this. Okay, so now moving on to my next step, I use this Boots foaming cleanser, foaming face wash in tea tree and witch hazel. It's only cheap, I think, but it's amazing. I love how it comes out. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it on camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> See, so it's all like nice and foamy um, and I do find it helps me keep blemishes at bay. I do have one on my chin um, tonight, unfortunately, because my skin has been clear for so long and I do think it's because I have got like a really simple skincare routine now that I actually stick to. So yeah, I'm just going to take this off my face and then I'm going to make the lighting in here a lot nicer and get in the shower with a lit candle. <laughs> shower all snuggly in my fresh pajamas feeling incredible honestly there's something about the flickering of a candlelight in the dark when you're either in the bath or the shower that is just so soothing to my soul so i'm just going to put my evening cream on now so i thought i'd just show you what i use so at the moment i'm using this ole what is it called regenerist night cream so i've only just that wasn't in focus at all there you go now you can see um so i've just started using that <laughs> i feel like every time i talk murphy does something so he's just started eating his biscuits for the evening 
But yeah, so I have been using the Olay Retinol, that one. Um, so I've been using that for a couple of months, but the Regenerous is literally like less than half the price. It's so much cheaper. And I just didn't know if I was maybe too young to be going heavy on the Retinol yet. So I'm going to give this a try. As you can see, it's very, very full. Literally just, actually you can't tell on camera. There you go. <laughs> literally just opened. So I'm going to put some of this on now. I used it, I think for the first time, was it last night or the night before? And I did notice that my skin felt a lot smoother afterwards. So I'm gonna put that on. And then that is my skincare done for the night. So that's all I do, literally just take off my makeup cleanse and then a night cream. And then in the morning, I cleanse again. Um, I use niacinamide and zinc from The Ordinary. So I've got greasy skin and SPF and that's it. Very simple. And that's all I can really stick to is something simple. The more complicated I make it, the more I'm just like, I get to an evening or first thing in the morning, I'm just like, nope, don't want to do it. So yeah, I'm going to put the things in the oven now for dinner. So we've got salmon, oven chips and roast veg. I've not put in many chips in just because I'm not that hungry. So I'll probably end up eating more of the salmon and the veg. So yeah, all you've got to do now is eat dinner. I'm gonna read a bit of my book and just chill. That's what I really just wanna to do tonight, is just chill, have some inner zen. Are you eating your biscuits very loudly? They're nice. Is that yummy? All finished, now you're ready for a stroke, okay. All right. So just while I'm waiting for the food to cook, I thought I'd do a little section talking about what I'm reading at the moment. And I also asked for book recommendations on Instagram. So I thought I'd share that as well for any readers amongst us. So at the moment I'm reading Marion Key's Grown Up. So my genre that I like is something very light-hearted, something quite easy to read. I don't want something too heavy. I think because my job is it's like dealing with heavy issues a lot. I need something light of an evening to take my mind off it and just put me in a lighter headspace. So I asked for, yeah, as you can see, I'm like nearly finished that book. I've only got a tiny bit left. So once I have finished that, I'm going to move on to some of these suggestions. So <laughs> I wrote them all out because I didn't want to forget any. So I asked on Instagram and obviously I got loads of messages and then I didn't want to have to look through the messages every time I want a new book. So I thought I'll write them all out. So I'll just put this on here and then hopefully you can screenshot this. And if you have a similar taste to me, you can work your way through these recommendations as well. So out of these, I've definitely read Jojo Moyes. I loved her book. Oh, what was it called now? They were on like a road trip, like a family road trip. Oh, it was amazing. It was so heartwarming. It made me cry. <laughs> also, Lindsay, Lindsay Kelk, I've definitely read her I Heart series. Sophie Kinsella, I've read. And obviously, Marion Keys. But a lot of those on there, I've not read yet. So I'm going to go to the library tomorrow and pick up two more books. The first time I went to the library, I got way too excited and checked loads out and then obviously I couldn't read them in time. So yeah, I do like going to the library and picking a new book. I just find it so heartwarming. It's free. It's like an amazing thing. Like, I don't know, just the fact that we can just go and pick a book for free. I just, my mind boggles at that since we live in such like a consumerist paying for everything world. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. But... I'm just gonna relax now and read 
some of my book and I'm gonna have a nice dinner then probably watch some TV with Paul I have to be honest I really do like reality TV we've been watching Married at First Sight and I know like my first reaction when I heard about that show is it makes a mockery of marriage and yeah I just did not approve <laughs> but then I started watching it and I got really into it and I think when I realized they weren't actually getting married for real then I was like mm, okay I softened a little bit I still don't agree with the premise and I don't like that they actually call each other husband and wife because they're not but anyway if we just put our moral compasses aside it's a fun show to watch so that's what I'm going to do tonight food book tv and then the another portion of this video I want to show you. So I have been, they've dropped out a bit now because it's the end of the day, but I've been wearing like socks in my hair and twisting my hair around them. And my hair wakes up, my hair wakes up, I wake up and my hair the next day is like really nice loose curls, like literally what I've always wanted and never quite been able to get. So I did used to use heated rollers and I got a nice effect with that, but still it was using heat on my hair like every day if I wanted it to look that way. So Lucky Paul has been sleeping next to me every night with socks sticking out my hair in all directions, but I wanna show you how I do that just in case you are interested because it does work so well and my hair does not normally hold a curl for long at all. And I've really found it does hold, I mean this, even to have this like, I know it's a loose curl but even to have this at the end of the day is like spot on for me because normally it's like a pin straight by the end of the day so that's what I'm gonna do I'm really sorry if this vlog has been way too chatty and you just wanted something a bit more chilled I'm in quite a chatty mood tonight I feel just quite I feel like over time with YouTube you surprise yourself at how comfortable you get in camera and recently because I've been doing it so consistently for the past two months I've been uploading twice a week consistently on my days I've allocated myself and I've just noticed that by doing that it just feels so much more natural to me and I think like people who don't do YouTube it's like they can't fathom picking up a camera and just talking to it like it's a friend but you would be surprised at how comfortable you get like really quickly. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna actually read my book for a little bit and then I'm going to eat my food because I'm actually getting a little bit peckish now. <laughs> tonight my favorite show literally ever is on it's pride of britain awards it's on once a year in the uk and it highlights like amazing work that people have done like voluntarily or just like amazing moments where people have saved people's lives and it's like the most heartwarming thing ever i cry every single year but I think it's a show that genuinely like changed the course of my life. Like I remember watching it for the first time. I went up to my bedroom, I think I was about maybe 15 and I decided I needed to do something for charity. So I hired out like a church hall. I post leaflets through my neighbor's door and held like a talent contest with all my friends and I did a raffle and food and raised a thousand pounds for a charity and then I went off to volunteer in Uganda and I feel like it just changed like the tra trajectory of my life and like how I thought and 
it made me really just want to do something to help people and now obviously I'm in the career that I'm in I genuinely think it's like moments like that sometimes it just changes what you want to do so anyway to get to the point it's my favorite show and it makes me literally cry like a baby every year so I need to finish this video before it comes on otherwise next time you see me I will be bright red and teary <laughs> so I just want to quickly show you how I do my sock curls overnight and then I'm going to end this video here but I really want to show you just because it's such an amazing hack okay so the first thing I do is I like to dampen my hair a little bit it depends what type of hair you have whether you need to do this so mine is quite fine which means it doesn't hold a curl well but it dries quickly so this is perfect for me to have some extra hold but also I know it will dry overnight if you've got very thick hair I don't recommend wetting it because it won't be fully dry in the morning which means the curls will drop so how I wet my hair just a little bit is I have this like spray bottle which is full of water and I literally spray my hair brush and then brush my hair with it so I'm going to do that now I always get loads of water on the floor doing this, I don't think Paul's too impressed. my hair now just like the tiniest bit damp and then I get these fuzzy, fuzzy socks they look dirty they're not dirty I promise you they have been washed <laughs> and then so you need to get like soft socks like this that are quite thick and then what I do is I get the sock and sort of like pin it at the top of my head there like that and then all I do is twist it around in three sections. So I only do three sections because it creates more of those like big voluminous waves rather than the tight ones. So all I do is twist it round. So I get my front section and just twist it round. Try and do it quite tight because it will come looser throughout the night as well so i do the first one like that and then i try not to twist the sock with it so i try and keep the sock as flat as possible and then i'm not just going to get my next section and then twist that around and then i'm just going to get the final section and twist that around get to the end I've got like a chenille sort of fabric bobble so I'm just going to tie it at the end so it stays in place and sometimes I like it if a little bit of the hair sort of sticks out the end I don't like it when it's like too curled at the end I'll just make sure it's sort of in then this is the fun part so with the sock here I get my hand in it and then I flip it over. So I'm looking at my mirror, mirror there, if you're wondering where I'm looking. I flip it over, just like that. And then that's it, that's one side done. So I'm gonna do the other side now and then I'll show you how I tie it so it's out of my way while I'm still awake. And then I will literally just leave it, like I'll undo that. I'll literally just leave it like that and sleep and because the sock is soft it's so easy just to sleep on it just feels like a pillow so yeah I'm gonna do the other side now and then I'll show you how I tie it up for the evening
Okay, so I now have my sock curls in. So this is how I will sleep with them, but because I've got a couple of hours before I go to bed and it just feels a bit weird and I don't want them to drop, what I do is I twist it round the side of my head, like so, and then I'll meet them at the back and then just put a bobble round them just to hold them in place for now. And then I'll just take that bobble out when I go to sleep because otherwise all that sort of bulk at the back of my head will be really uncomfortable. So yeah, this is <laughs> probably the most unattractive way to do your hair ever, but it works and it's no heat on your hair and it's a lot healthier for your hair. So I definitely recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna end this cozy autumn evening with me here. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more sort of slow living, relaxed homemaking, vlogs, evenings, mornings, things like that, then do give this a thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.